double room it is. This isn't my story, but my sister's. I saw a post about being bumped to first class and I thought of this. She was working as a desk clerk in training at a big hotel in our state. One weekend, they were overbooked due to a combination of a new booking system and a massive semi-annual religious conference that happens in April and October. A couple shows up on Friday, and they were told about the snafu. You'd think someone in their 50s would know mistakes happen. But no. They kept yelling that they had a double room. And that's what they were gonna get. My sister's manager is there. Trying to get a word in edgewise. But they keep replying, double room. Eventually she finds a way to excuse herself and speak with. Another group in line. A family with two kids about 10 years old. Speaking loud enough for the old couple to hear. I know you've booked a double room. But there's been a problem. Instead. We would like to take your double room and upgrade you to our presidential suite. It has four bedrooms. 2000 SQ feet. 185.806 square meters. And an on-call. 24-hour butler. Some other perks. The juice minibar was free. Can't give away free alcohol in my state. So hotels often had a juice version in addition. One meal a day for the party in the hotel restaurant. Ran by a Michelin-starred chef. And a private lap pool. The family was ecstatic. My sister relayed that their original room was likely a cheap internet special and all they could afford. The new room and amenities there were offered was usually in the neighborhood of $1,500 a night. She took their basic room keys and had my sister show them where the private elevator they opened to. Their suite was. She overheard the older couple complaining as she left and got full details upon returning. They said that they should have been offered that room and tried to raise even a bigger stick as they were their first, I tried several times. But you declined to let me finish. Here, handing them the basic keys the family had, are your keys to the double room you wanted. Checkout is at 11. Can I assist you with anything else? They took their keys and stormed off. I mean, they got what they were asking for both the room and the sweet justice. A few hours later my sister laughed uncontrollably when she saw the butler bringing up free ice. Cream the size of a dinner plate to the room. Enjoy kids. The family that got that room 100% shares this memory at every party they go to. I'm sure it made their whole month. Nice job OP's sister. If I have learned anything from reading Reddit, it's to a uh, be a reasonable human and be let whoever is on the other side of the desk finish what the offer is before I insist on anything. We had a similar thing picking up a rental car in Orlando. Stood in parking lot waiting to pick up our standard family car. Just relieved to have got through customs and reclaimed all our luggage two large, very vocal family groups in front of us. Lots of shouting and hand-waving. Also lots of low-scale moaning from adults and kids. Guy from the rental company apologized for the delay and it was obvious they were trying as much as humanely possible. Finally after 30 to 40 minutes gets to us. Guy apologized again. We said, not a problem. We're British. It's a cue. He goes and gets the keys to a brand new Escalade. Which had the all singing, dancing package. With electric everything. Hands it over and says, have a nice vacation. Great story. Worth also posting to our, Tales from the Front Desk. I had a small experience like this as a customer. Some years ago. I was flying from San Francisco to Buenos Aires for business with a connection in NYC. Basically as soon as I boarded in San Francisco I could see things were going awry. Because the seat next to me was broken and we were repeatedly delayed as a parade of different mechanics came to visit to repair it. 
Eventually they gave up and taped off the seat with hazard tape. But by then we were over an hour late. As an aside, some nutcase on the plane kept trying to sit in this dangerous broken seat because it was an aisle seat. WTF is wrong with people? Anyway, we arrived at JFK just in time to watch the Buenos Aires connecting flight taxi. A bunch of my fellow passengers were yelling and carrying on, demanding that the gate attendant bring the plane back. As they mobbed that one poor attendant, I walked, snuck, up to the desk and politely asked the other attendant to rebook me on the next flight and where I'd be staying for the night. Since it's a once daily flight, she gave me one of the last seats on the next BA flight, some vouchers, and told me where to catch the shuttle. As I walked away, I could hear the screeching as the other passengers realized that not only were they not flying out tonight, but they also weren't flying out tomorrow because the next plane was full. I turned and made eye contact with the gate attendant I'd talked with. She just barely maintained a straight face. The next morning I slept in, then took a shuttle to Manhattan and spent the day kicking around shopping and visiting tourist stuff like Central Park and the Empire State Building. I also saw Miss Polonia at the Pulaski Day Parade and got dinner at a halal cart. That's the story of how I had a pretty great 24 hours layover in NYC on Delta's Dime. Edits. A little additional context. Few things in life give me the total satisfaction of upgrading someone who is actually grateful for it. The utter surprise. The face. The radiance of happiness. But to do it in front of an entitled B. Priceless. Tell me you live in Utah without telling me you live in Utah. Very wholesome less than three good story. I've never been anything but polite when dealing with shuttle drivers, airline desk agents, flight attendants, there is no discernible reason to not be. They didn't screw things up. But they can help you unscrew it and hopefully get you back on track or make it better smiles and could you please help me work this out work wonders it always pays to be polite to the desk clerks airline ticket agents etc they don't get paid enough to deal with the crap they deal with always be polite to front desk staff we just got back from a long trip and even invited the front desk manager to visit us on our sailboat once she is ready to set sail. She was that nice and made our stay wonderful. I love everything about this. Only time I ever fussed is when they tried to give me a single king versus double room when it was my wife and kids, just not enough room. Perfect. Op. Please edit your post and change the summary to I mean, they got what they were asking for. Both the room and the sweet justice. I mean the pun is just too apropos. Dash. I realize Op didn't say if the parties were Mormon. But if they are, I'm curious about the Mormon paradox here. The family with kids will consider this to be a tender mercy, or even a full-blown miracle. How will the older couple think of it? An anti-miracle? Does that cancel God? Yup entitled Mormons. I've heard this story before. You know what? I don't care that it was your sister's story. You were the one who shared it here. So you get my updute. Take it. Take my UPDOOT. Was this at the Grand America in Salt Lake City? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.